Hello everybody, yes, BDP here for Creativo.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a fake oil painting or basically a painting of anything you would like. So let's just start. I have this lovely horse here uh, and we're going to just uh, select that out first. I usually use this uh, quick mark tool because it goes way faster uh, and it gives us the result we would like. So there we go. And then after that, just going to refine edges. Uh, I have it set so it shows a black area. It's going to change the radius a little bit. Uh, and then just paint out the hairs like that. And there. Just paint, 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 paint. Just make sure to get all those hairs in there. Just paint everything and around the ears is really important to get those small hairs that horses have there. Uh, and then around the nose as well. Something like that. That should be pretty okay. And then I just like to smooth it and feather it out a little bit. Uh, contrast as well and shift edge a little bit to um, get a little larger area uh, okay then after you have done that you basically just want to uh, take this off and delete something like that so yeah when you have your horse cut out just move it to a new layer and um, then we're gonna start the fun part I'm gonna make this into a smart object and I'm going to go into it like that and then after that what you want to do is adjustment and go to HDR toning it will flatten the document of course but um, then we just play around a little bit I want to have um, a pretty large radius strength should be quite high because I want it to be very uh, contrasted um, to black and white and uh, the gamma we want to have around there something like that and then exposure we're gonna keep that on zero uh, details we want to have that pretty high we want to have uh, like I said high contrast shadows we bring that down a little bit highlights bringing that down a little bit as well like I said still want to have a lot of details uh, saturation we gotta bring that down vibrance as well uh, something like that it doesn't look too great at the moment but that's what we're after control s to save it and then just jump back into your original image um, then what we're going to do just again is select uh, uh, take your selection again I saved it in an another document but you can just have a dual layers and uh, so there we have it and then just hide that away and uh, we want to delete this background so basically control C and control V and then you have it copied out after you've done that go to filter go to oil painting uh, and then this window will pop out uh, and so basically what you do here is just bring the style stylization up to max cleanliness and uh, this depends on how much detail you want in your work but I'm gonna have it around there and scale we're gonna keep that on zero because I think it looks better. Bristle detail also, just move it up to max. And angular duration around here in the middle somewhere. Shine, you can select that, but like it to see if you get a high, it, it will look more like a pencil drawing and I want to have it a little bit like here. So it looks like a Photoshop drawing. And then just press okay. And now when you zoom into your image, you will see that it looks very much painted at the moment. <laughs> Uh, so yeah that's basically how you do it so now you have an image that looks very much like a painted object and um, yeah after this it's all about your preference you can um, add a yeah whatever you want really like hue saturation and colorize if you want to have it in colors um, and yeah that's pretty much how you do it so yeah so yeah that's how you make a uh, 
painting of anything really. Uh, remember to subscribe to us uh, and also join us on creativo.com and just go into the forums there and write if you want me to uh, do a tutorial for you or anything really. Or if you have a tutorial you made yourself that you want us to upload, uh, you can also link it there. Uh, so yeah, I hope I see you guys and bye bye.